Sitting here today, I have to say that I'm immensely proud of how much we've grown. So I think Canada Helps is actually one of the great untold stories um, in Canada. You know, way back when the internet itself was just an interesting idea for many Canadians, you had three founders that came up with this idea that Canadians could benefit from donating to a range of charities and that charities could actually benefit from having the best technology solutions. It was 2000 and a minority of Canadians had ever bought anything online. You know, people were using emails, but they weren't even using Google yet. We thought, yeah, I, I mean, more and more companies are gonna be using e-commerce technology. There's going to be a digital divide between the haves and the have-nots, and charities should be able to be able to use this technology and harness this as well. We aspired to be nationwide, to have all Canadians using us, to have all charities using us. We dreamed big, and I think that today it's very much the same. When I first got to Canada Helps, I was actually super excited to have this opportunity to connect donors and charities and more importantly to help uh, smaller charities in Canada actually be able to take advantage of all the opportunities that were being presented in the rapid advancement of technology. I use Canada Helps when I want to support a charity. In fact, last December 31st, it was the evening and I knew time was running out and I had two favorite charities that were small grassroots charities and I got online and made some year-end donations to them. All you have to do is look at the tagline, giving made simple, giving made simple. We really will go an extra mile for every single charity and I dare say that the smaller the charity, the more we'll actually go an extra mile. So it's exactly like the opposite, we're flipping you know, that whole business model upside down. And we're proving that, you know, we can compete successfully and that we can uh, really make a difference. Kind of like what we like to do at food banks, where we want to make food the least of our community's worries. What Canada Helps does for us is make donation processing the least of our worries. One of the things we pride ourselves on is democratizing the access to technology for charities, and that's the biggest thing. Technologies and platforms that are typically and traditionally only available to um, bigger charities because they have the budget and the teams are now available to smaller to medium charities as well. I think it's so important for charities to, to keep on top of online and online giving, um, and I think the tools that we build really empower charities to do just that. Our dedication to our clients is probably the single most important reason why charities uh, say that they can trust us, that they can rely on us, that they're dependable, because we've been here for charities for 20 years. Right from the beginning, right from day one, it's been for the sector, by the sector. And the evolution has reflected the evolution of the charitable sector in Canada as a whole. Today, we actually have over 23,000 charities who use these tools and our educational resources and our training resources, we at the same time have literally uh, processed donations from millions of Canadians. I think it's like 2.6 million altogether, uh, over 1.5 billion in donations. And just in the last uh, year or so, uh, over 600,000 Canadians used our website. So sitting here again as somebody who used to be in the for-profit and knowing how we operate, I'm so proud. Canada Helps processes more in an average day this year than it did an average year in the first three years. We've come a long way. I doubt if there is a day that goes by that almost every Canadian isn't touched in some way, shape or form by a charity. But ironically, as diverse and as broad as the sector is, um, it's almost invisible to most Canadians. A hospital, a university, uh, a local community organization, the animal shelter that saved your cat. All of these are charities, and they actually have a really strong connection to our social safety net and the civic health of Canada. While I saw that what charities do was so essential, and more than ever I understood as a Canadian how consequential charities are for all of us, I also saw the gaps, right? The gaps both in terms of charities operating models and, and very little money that is going into their operations for what really is an essential work. Helping charities get there, helping charities cross that gap is going to continue to be even more relevant. And all the while, 
our role in helping Canadians to engage with charities, to learn about charities, to uh, help charities, and to actually uh, understand, I think, a lot deeper just how consequential and important charities are to all of our lives. And I personally believe with all my heart that there is a lot for all of us to lose if charities do not make this transition successfully.